finding the right light can be tricky. I mean, we know what the right light might be, but the cost of most of the right lights come close to a mortgage payment. So we settle or go for the next best thing. However, that is not the case when it comes to the Nero 660 RGB LED light panel. I've used this light for the majority of all the videos I made back in December, and I have to say it exceeded my expectations. I bought this light with my hard earned money, and I just want to tell you about it. What sets this light apart from the competition is its RGB and HSI color modes, which allows you to switch between different color temperatures and hues, giving you the freedom to create some of the lighting effects you see in some higher end lights. For example, I'm using the Godox SL60W to light me right now. This isn't even a bicolor light and they are nearly the same price. The Godox SL60W is around 139 as of this video and the Nero 660 is 129. You get way more out of the Nero than the SL60W, but they both have their use cases and scenarios in which one shines over the other. In the case of features, the 660 is a clear winner, but I love the Godox SL60W. I got this light about three years ago and it is still alive and kicking. I actually have two and I'll be talking about the XL60W in another video. And if you want to check out some other lighting videos, you can check out the playlist that I linked above. So whether you're shooting portraits, landscapes, architecture, in my case, real estate or any other type of content, the Nero 660 is powerful enough to get you the results you're looking to get or something close to it. It has a color rendering index of 97, which means the colors in your shots will be accurately reproduced in a natural way. You can adjust the brightness and color modes with the control dials on the back of the light panel. And you can also control everything from their mobile app as well. And I will talk more about the mobile app in just a second. You can easily adapt the lights to suit whatever project you're working on, whether you're shooting in a studio, out in the real world, in your living room, or somewhere like where I'm sitting right now, because the light is super compact compared to lights that are shaped like the SL60W that I mentioned earlier. And the 660 is definitely easily, more easily portable. It comes with a carrying case with barn doors installed on the light panel. It has a thin layer of diffusion that slides right into the front of the light. It is also attached to a U bracket and this is where the stand attachment is located as well. You can use a use bracket as a kickstand, put the light on the floor and use it as a background light. It does get pretty bright, so make sure you aren't blowing out your background. Before we move on to talking about the mobile app, there is one accessory that does not come with the light that I would highly recommend, and that is this softbox right here. There are definitely other softboxes you can use with the 660. I've never used them, so I don't know if they are better or not, but this light box fits perfectly on the panel and it will add a second layer of diffusion, which is very helpful if you're looking to soften your light. One downside to using a softbox is that when it is attached to the light, you are restricted in how you're able to direct the light. Now let's talk about the app. The app is the best part because for one, you have full control over the light from within the app. And secondly, if you have more than one Nebra light that has Bluetooth connection or their proprietary Wi-Fi signal, you can connect and control all of them from within the app. On top of all of that, you can create presets within the app for each light you have saved. I do not have any presets right now, but that is something you have access to. You can access all of the special lighting effects within the app. The lighting effects are SOS, TV, faulty light bulb, candle, flash, and fire. And there's definitely probably some other effects that I'm not mentioning, but you can access all of the effects directly from the control panel on the back of the light as well. Now let's talk about the most important thing, power. You have two slots for two NP batteries. I use the NP960 batteries, two of them. I've shot for an entire week having only charged the batteries once. I charged them only because I wanted to make sure they were charged, not because I needed to. It probably would have run much longer. You do not need to use two batteries in order for the light to work. You can only use one and you should be good. It does have a battery indicator on the back of the panel so you know how much juice you have left. So no worry on that front. You can also use the DC cable that comes with the light. This way you don't have to worry about charging the batteries. You can use this switch right here to switch between whether you use the DC power or the battery power. Having battery power and not having to restrict this with a cable is what gives you free reign over using this light wherever you need it to be. 660 RGB LED panel light is definitely worth checking out. It is suitable for a wide range of use cases from studio shoots to outdoor shoots 
and everything in between. It is definitely a great light if you are shooting music videos. I have not, I've not shot a music video, but I'm just guessing that it's probably great because of the lighting effects. With this powerful output, versatile lighting capabilities and ease of use, the Nero 660 RGB LED panel light would definitely assist you in improving the quality of your content. If you're in the market for a portable LED panel light, the Nero 660 LED panel light is definitely worth considering. Also considering liking and subscribing if you got any value out of this video, I greatly appreciate it. There will be more lighting videos that you can check out in this playlist right here, or you can check out this video right here that YouTube thinks you might like to watch next. Thanks for liking and subscribing while staying awesome. Stay awesome.